What's up everybody, OGP back with you for another video. Today I'm at the Goodwill over here in El Cajon, California. I'm gonna check out what they got in here and then go meet with the Fluffy Gamer and have a burger over at the Bow Weevil. Then maybe we'll hit up Fluffy's spot and see if we can come up on his uh, rare and out of print goodness over there at the uh, good old book off. What do you say? We get in here and check out the Goodwill. Okay, so as soon as I walked in the door, I noticed a ton of Blu-rays, and uh, that's kind of cool. You know, for a, for a Goodwill, you don't normally see this many Blu-rays. But unfortunately, it was just nothing that I was in the market for. You know, and, and I've got the camera pointed pretty much at the movie, so you don't really see it, but... There was actually a lot of people in here, you know, it's getting close to Christmas, so everybody's out shopping and stuff, but uh, I was just, I was a little uncomfortable just because the people that were there weren't really social distancing at all, or, you know, just, they weren't wearing masks or anything, and uh, just made me feel a little awkward and uncomfortable, so I wasn't there that long. Well, that was a dud. Time to go get a burger with fluff and uh, actually do something fun. They had a lot of Blu-rays in there, which was kind of cool, but nothing that I needed. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of people in there made me feel kind of uncomfortable, the whole COVID thing right now. So anyways, let's go get a burger. Oh yes, here we are. At the bull weevil now. Just got our food. So what is that yellow you're gonna put on your burger right there? Uh, I think it's tartar sauce. Oh okay. It's there like it's bull weevil's like secret yeah. sauce. Yeah, all I know is I can't get enough of it. It goes all over the fries, your burgers. You son of a bitch. Yeah, I do not like that. I do not like that stuff. Great. That was your mama's favorite, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, just like that, huh? Yeah. None of the healthy stuff? None of uh, tomatoes? I, I get tomatoes because my mom used to always take my tomatoes and put it in her burger. Oh, okay. okay. So, I always give, so these are for my mom. So now you could just take those and throw them on the ceiling. <laughs> Remember doing that at Taco Bell back in the day? Oh, like right. tomatoes <laughs> are sticky. They will stick to the ceiling. So, But anyways, yeah, I got my burger here. I'm just going with ketchup cheese. Then we got the fries. They got some really good fries here. Ketchup? You fucking son of a bitch. Did you just fucking contaminate my fucking ketchup? I'm just testing it for you. You motherfucker. Oh yeah. That's a lot of ketchup. I love I like ketchup. <laughs> you got, <laughs> apparently I like ketchup a lot. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> hmm. Oh get it. Oh, oh. Get some of that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dreaming. Burgery. Of a nice. Well, that's it. We are out of Bull Weevil. <sighs> I'm stuffed. Yeah, like Danny would say, stuffed in a muff. Stuffed like a muff. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, good burger as always. You get, get a nice shot of the sign? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it a minute ago. Look at that. That's yeah. what's up. That's Half what's up. pound steer burgers. Uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, man, it was delicious. And I wish I could hang out more, but I got to go home because we got a live stream video to do tonight. Mm. So uh, I'm going to have to skip on the book, uh, off? The book off today. Sucks to be you. Book I'm off's going to off's gonna have to F off. You can buy me some stuff. It's all good. I'll, I'll yeah. buy you some stuff. You got to pick it up off the bay. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So anyways, well, I'm going to go somewhere and find some place to look for some movies or something. Just unfortunately, it's not going to be the book off. So Fluffy and I are going to be parting ways at this point. You're going to have to uh, look at his videos and find out what he gets at the book off. Probably what, Sunday? Sunday. Sunday maybe, night. Yeah. Yeah, so whatever. So anyways, that's it from Bull Weevil. We are moving on. Adios. All right. So I did not have time to go to the book off with Fluffy. But I'm at the Dollar Tree by my house. I ain't gonna have nothing like book I was gonna have, but let's go see what they got at the Dollar Tree. 
for a dollar twenty-five. Anybody else think they should have just raised it to a buck fifty just so we could have called it the dollar fifty? So much easier than like the dollar twenty-five or the dollar and a quarter. Dollar fifty. Let's go to the let's go to the dollar fifty store. So here we go into the dollar fifty. They should that's what they should call it the dollar fifty tree. So it'd be like the let me go to the dollar fifty tree. But um, you know, anyways, they put the movies at my look at the location by my house right up front. So bear with me as I'm like trying to film. Uh, but you know, the cashier's like turn around and kind of look at you like, what are you doing? Uh, so oh look, restricted area. I picked this up. Uh, just to have a copy because Sinistalker's in it and uh, Cool Duder. And, uh, look at this. Nobody dies. Nobody dies. Is, is that That's like the remake of Hellfest, which, you know, like Hellfest had so much potential, but nobody died. <laughs> how, how do you make a horror movie where nobody dies? Look at this. Liza Minnelli of Robert De Niro, but it doesn't look like anything I want. Some of these movies, um, either you know they've been here, or they just keep getting the same ones over and over. But uh, this looks kind of interesting, kind of cool artwork on it. The Life Changer, huh? Might be worth checking out. Looks kind of cool artwork on it. Visioneers. Now, Zach Galifianakis is hilarious, but um, I don't, like, comedy movies are not anything that I'm really, really collecting unless it's just a real classic. Um, even though, you know, it's only a buck and a quarter, I just, I, I have such a limited amount of space in my house anymore, so I'm just kind of, you know, kind of being picky about what I buy anymore. Uh, you know, or trying to at least. It's, it's hard. When they're this cheap, it's hard. But American Zombie Land. Uh, I'm thinking probably not that good. Child Remains. Ha. Huh. But inspired by true events. Not rated. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Uh, basically, kids and mothers that were killed, buried, uh, coming back to haunt the place. Ah, good. Monolith. Eh, that looks like it's filmed outside of Vegas or somewhere in the desert in the southwest here. Vegas or Arizona. And unfortunately, I'm noticing that there are no Blu-rays here. That's, that's kind of disappointing. Well, I think I might get these three. The Raven and Canadian Bacon and this Life Changer movie. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like, I'd rather have the Raven, like, you know, like 4K or Blu ray if they got it. But, um, but anyways, this dollar. Why not? not have any blu-rays today which was disappointing a lot of blu-rays last time 
And I saw somebody had picked up at a Dollar Tree a copy of uh, Breaking 2 Electric Boogaloo. Didn't have that. I was looking for that. I was hoping they had that. But I got a couple movies anyways. Actually, three to be Pacific. Sorry. My beard's getting weird. Remember those commercials? Is your beard weird? Yeah, my beard is funky as hell today. But uh, in there, you saw, I showed you basically what I was getting. And and, and indeed, I did get them. Uh, John Candy, Canadian Bacon. John Candy, Candy was one of the funniest men to ever walk this planet. Uh, but, um, you know, and I don't know if I'm going to remember any of the other names of the actors in this film but um oh is that ray perlman yeah yeah ray perlman's in there but anyways um whoop 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 try and get to a point where we'll focus but i mean the text is so hard to, to get in on there but um but dude this is this is hysterical this is just hysterical if you haven't seen canadian bacon rush over to your dollar fitty store and uh, pick yourself up a copy uh then john cusack the raven and I don't own this. I do now, apparently. But it's like, man, this is something that I should probably own, like, at least a Blu-ray copy of. I don't know if they've had a 4K release yet. I'm not sitting in front of my computer to look. But this is probably something that should be on Blu-ray or 4K as opposed to DVD. But it was a dollar, and since I don't own it, I'm going to grab it, and I'll have it until... I upgrade it if I ever do. We'll see. And then uh, this movie I've never heard of, but it says it will drain the life out of you. The Life Changer. Yeah. That's cool looking artwork there. And um, it stars a whole bunch of people that I've never ever heard of. Um, even, uh, may maybe, but I <laughs> even with my glasses on, Dude, that text is so ridiculously small, can't even read it. Like, look, they only went three lines on their credits here. Could have easily done a fourth line and just squished everything together a little bit more and made the text a little bit bigger, but whatever. that They did what they did. Thank you, Uncorked Entertainment, for making it impossible to read. But hopefully it's good. Uh, it says, Drew has to shapeshift or face painful death he has to find someone and make a copy. He has to find someone and make a copy, period. Make a copy of what? He becomes them? Oh, okay. Drew has to shapeshift or face painful death. He has to find someone and make a copy. This is poorly written. Whoever wrote this, get help next time. Uh, he becomes them and... And they die horribly. So he picks a person, apparently. He turns into them, and then they die. Okay, we've seen that before. Enter Julia, the object of Drew's affection. How can he make things right when he's never the same person for very long? Life Changer follows one shapeshifter's twisted quest to repair the damage he's caused while leaving a trail of bodies in his wake. So he's trying to repair his relationship with his woman while killing a bunch of people at the same time. Good dude. Good dude. Good catch. Yeah. Hopefully uh, Julia is proud of her man. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyways, it's probably going to be dumb as just balls. But anyways, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Life changer. I got it. And then uh, you saw I picked up these, you know, like my reading glasses. I always buy the cheap ones at the dollar store here because I break them a lot. They get scratched and um, it just like I, I broke a pair the other day. And so I was like, you know what? I'm here. I'm going to grab a couple extra pairs and see. And you can see like I'm not that blind. These are just ones. Uh, and then I get 1.25s for if I'm like um, like reading a book. And the light's kind of low. But the ones, it's basically like a like kind of like a magnifying glass or whatever. It's just the bare minimum. But, you know, if you're looking at your computer screen, it's blurry at all. You know, and, and you're not a spring chicken anymore. 
they, the man, those are nice. So that's why I rock. And they, they're like, they're such a low, like number that like, you know, I can look around fine too. Like you put on reading glasses. If they're like a high prescription, everything's all blurry and yeah, I like this. So I'm not completely blind yet. I'm not completely blind. I'm going, but I'm not completely blind. It's been a while since me and Fluffy had that, um, burger. So I got my chicken sandwich. Oh. It's a McDonald's chicken sandwich. It's not the greatest, but it's a chicken sandwich. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You probably didn't. This video probably sucked. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below. Have you ever seen this? I haven't. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll quit sitting here being grody, and I'll see you guys next time.